If you want to achieve something, the lesson in it is that you stick to it and if you work hard you can achieve it. So with working hard, I was a good netballer and actually made it to the Australian Institute of Sport in 1995 on a netball scholarship, which was really exciting for me. I was living in Adelaide, I'd just finished year 12 got accepted to go live in Canberra for a year. I actually changed coaches, I changed training squads, I got a great nutritionist, I got a masseur, I got a personal trainer. That was my athletic team. Even though I'm an individual athlete, I have a good team of people around me. But I also had great friends. I had friends that were motivating, that were positive, that were challenging, that were interested in me, that knew that I was an athlete and that I couldn't go out or do something. They knew that because they knew that I had a goal of achieving. So I surrounded myself with great people. So we hope you've had a good day. Um, it's been intense. We started from with Holly and we've taken you through a whole journey throughout the day and finished with Jenny. We've given you ideas, we've given you case studies, we've given you time to think. We've shared as much as we possibly could. We hope you've um, been given a whole bunch of tools and ideas to take away from today. And welcome to the South Australian Sports Show. My name is Katrina Webb and I will be your host for this evening. Okay. Tell us all about uh, the upcoming Beijing Olympics. Excited about it? It is very exciting. Yeah, a year to go and Beijing is, um, I was there a year ago and it's looking absolutely fabulous. And welcome to On The Road. I'm Katrina Webb and tonight we have come to the home of the Aquatic Centre in North Adelaide to see a lot of the water-based sports. Now when I found out what I had was cerebral palsy, my parents started to receive all of these phone calls from their friends saying, I'm so sorry to hear about Katrina. Because they'd read in the paper that Star Netballer had cerebral palsy. And I think they were sorry because they really didn't understand what cerebral palsy was. Maybe their image of cerebral palsy was somebody in a wheelchair with really severe cerebral palsy who obviously couldn't walk. Stuff will happen to you. Stuff will happen to you at work, stuff will happen to you in your personal life. But you have responsibility over how you're going to react to it. You have the choice. You have control over you. Can I just say, wonderful idea. Well done for putting this great program together. And can you please give a round of applause to Karen and Rachel. Well, please keep that applause going for the MC of the day of the year. I gave her such a packed agenda. Everybody kept saying, gee whiz, Rachel, Karen, you've really packed this, you know, do you know what it's like to keep it on time? We knew we had the person for the job. So thank you so much for your value to the day and for the insights that you've led and the fluid transition for the whole day. Thank you.